Okay, we're going to try this video. Okay, so I'm going to use ripple milk this time because the soy milk, I use the West soy, which is only the soybeans and water, but it makes the, the egg yolks or the egg whites really gray. So this time I'm going to use the ripple pea milk. Plus, soy milk has five carbs per cup. I'm doubling the recipe here. So this is a cup and a half of the pea milk, which has, as you know, no net carbs which means that my egg whites per egg white at 10 whites, which is because I should be able to double what I just did. That means that I'm going to, um, it's going to be really low in carbs. And because I make my yolk out of the, the pea milk too, I'm also not having to use any carbs there either. So by the time I'm done, I'm going to have a vegan zero carb egg like omnivores have the zero carb eggs. It will just be uh, protein from that. What will it be? Pretty much just protein. Wow. And what little bit of fat is in that? Natural fats only because we don't put any fats in this. All right. So see all that foam? The foam is a bad thing. So I'm going to get off here and I'm going to make sure this is really mixed up really good. And then I'm going to get my thermometer ready because it has to get up to 80 degrees. So I'll be back in just a second. Okay. So you see how thick this is? It's ready. And it's right past 75 degrees, almost 80. But by the time I get it turned off and get it ready. And you don't skim the foam off until you pour it into your molds, I just discovered. So I'll be right back. All right, here we go. I just used a quarter cup plastic cup, measuring cup, and scooped them all into here. And it made way more than I thought. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. To 16 eggs. Wow. Okay, I'm going to put these in the refrigerator to firm up. So seriously, guys, any store-bought ricotta or Greek yogurt probably would work. Anything like that or make your own ricotta out of soy milk or the pea milk like I do. Uh, there's a video for that on our YouTube channel and in the group. And then all you need is the black salt and the turmeric and bam, you have egg yolk. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's it. Guys, I promise that's all it is. Okay, I didn't worry about the bubbles on mine because I'm going to scoop them out and stuff them. <laughs> and you know what this is really making me want? It's making me want a barbecue or have a picnic or something. It's reminding me of summer or spring and it's so crappy weather outside. But um, I know how to make deviled eggs now, so I'm pretty happy. Okay, we're all scooped out and I'm going to take these pieces of the egg um, because it does taste like egg. And I'm going to chop them up and put them in the, the stuff that's going to stuff the eggs with. Because that's what my mama used to do with hers. And that's what's just what I think I should do. So I'll be back in a few. <laughs> Aren't these beautiful? I forgot the finishing touches. I don't know if you guys' mom ever did this, but my mom always... Sprinkle the little paprika on the top. I am so happy with these eggs. I can't even tell you. I made a zero carb, net carb per egg. egg. Not very high in protein or nothing else, to tell you the truth. They're not high in much of nothing. Um, but who cares? We have eggs now. <laughs> 